Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 51 on the Manicraft server with Black Dog Z. All right, so we have been working on bees for the past little bit, couple episodes, but what we really want to do is we want to get to the end. That's right, I want to head to the end. I'm sick and tired of not having an Enderman spawner, and I really want one. So, we need to figure out... Wow, that's nice. An Enderman killer. Hmm, neat. Won't use it, but hey. It's another ruby sword. Alright, so, what I'm going to need in order to get to the end, of course, more pearls. So as you can see, we currently have five pearls from that last episode where we did some hunting of the Enderman. And now we're going to hunt a little more. Our entire goal, to find Enderman, piss them off, and get them to come to us. Now I am still killing them with the Soul Eater. And the reason for that is because I still am trying to get more Enderman. finally teleported. Alright. Ow. Ow. Gotcha. Huh. How's our armor holding up? Oh, not bad. Don't see another Enderman. Let's head this way. No. Bad. Bad, Skelly. Alright. Oh, and I didn't have my Enderman one in. That wasn't good. They do have to be in your bar, so you kind of got to watch out. Ooh, mobs just appeared. Piss him off. Oh yeah, and now the spiders come after me. Really? I guess it's an Enderman killer. I guess I don't want to be using that on the Enderman, yeah. Um, what do we got? Hmm. The other Enderman that was with him must have teleported away. Run this way. Stop. Look around. Run this way. Oh shit. I've run out of food. Mm, shooting at me, eh? Sorry, I am immune to your arrows. Alright, so the reason we want to get to the end is because I really want to kill Enderman. And unfortunately, unless we go to the end, we can't really do that. I beat him with my, my knee. Yes. Sounds really bad, but... You're next. Alright. And of course, once you're wearing this kind of armor, Endermen are actually really easy to defeat. Yeah, come on. Oh, I think this is the most Enderman I've ever seen here. One problem though, I did not set a waypoint, so that's going to be an issue. And the sound the Endermen make, I don't know, I don't really like it, it's kind of awkward. Um, really? Come on Enderman. I like it when the sound stops. In theory the home is this way. have to go back and look at the coordinates. Alright, I found a town. Not the same town, though, so that's an issue. 
Okay, I know where I am now. You'll notice the world changes there. We're not quite sure happened. We think that there might have been some corruption or something in this seed, like actual file corruption. Because um, it definitely partially loads a different seed. At this point, I'm just trying to find home. As you can see, not exactly easy. I want to apologize about this, everyone. I think we're lost. Alright, we're going to look around for some more Endermen then. If I find home, I find home. Not seeing any Enderman now. That's always a pain. Okay. That means home must be over here. Alright, still haven't seen a single Enderman. Jeez. One would assume that we would see them. Some reason I stopped running. Here we go. Really? Enchanted armor? Well, two hundred minute ones is a little much. Just until he sees me. So I hope everyone's enjoying the Enderman killing. We just need a couple more souls, uh, a couple more Ender. The uh, can't even speak today. A couple more of those uh, crystals and uh, the pearls. Oh, there's another one, and uh, we should have enough to find the end. 
Now my question is, like I have a world where they spawn quite a bit in this particular world. How would you go about finding Endermen? Because normally I wouldn't even know how you would get this many Ender Pearls in order to find the end. And I've been told that sometimes it takes more than 16 Ender Pearls to find the end. Or is it just that I get bad lucks with drops on the Ender Pearls? Because I will admit that I'm getting probably less than 50%, I want to say. So that's never good. Got him. Alright, so that gives us 11 Ender Pearls. Which will hopefully be enough. But you never know. Found a way back. Which I don't get because that should mean that my house is around here. Found my house. No. That is super confusing, people. This will take me back to the overworld. Let's just grab it. That way we have it. There's also a pool of water right there, which I don't get. Considering this is a desert. Oh, he stepped in the water. Let's move away from the water. Hopefully he won't teleport into it. See, I am very confused. If that is spawn, then you would think that our house would be right here. But I don't remember there being water right beside spawn. Like, who makes an infinite water pool at spawn? How did you hurt me before you teleported? Sucker. Really? 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 Alright, let's head back. I have no clue where the book's gonna take me. Okay. So it took me over to Tasky and Arclight's house, apparently. Not a problem. Easy, quick John home. Uh-oh. Alright, so we're home. The other thing I wanted to show you was creeper heads. I've been getting a lot of these lately, 
and I thought this was kind of neat, so I thought I'd show it to you. If you actually put a creeper head right there, it actually counts as a half block. So you can use them as stairs. So like as an example, and I'll show you this here, and go over here, and I think there's a... No, we'll just punch it out. Like as an example, I could take this stair out. Well, that put me in the basement apparently. Come on. Alright, and then instead of that stair, we can put a skeleton skull. And then it's a half stair. Ta-da! Uh, apparently it doesn't work from here. Oh, it's because I'm stuck in the wall. So there you go. You can use them as half stairs. I thought that was kind of neat. Oh, whoops. Really? You must stare. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop a few things off here. These heads will actually just drop off in here. Brain we can keep. Fire Protection 3, Thorns 1. Nice. It's too bad it's fairly badly damaged or else it would be really cool to have. But it can go in my emergency gear and uh, if we get some more chainmail, maybe we'll be able to tie them together and use them didn't mean to put that in there, but eh, it can go in there anyway. Alright, and then our emergency gear, which is over here. We can put this bow, we can put this chain mail. As you can see, we haven't gotten much in the way of chain mail. I did have some, I think, in the first couple episodes I may have had some. Or it may have been a previous game now, I can't remember, but I was using chain mail for a little bit. Okay. So, next up, we'll put this in here. We take our cacti, we put them in here. Uh, there's a few things that we want to get before we start looking for the... Oh, I keep forgetting to put that brain away. Before we start looking for the end. Basically, what that is, is we need... A book. Two books. Okay, so we need two books. We'll start there. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Two pieces of leather. Alright, so there's our two books. We'll make those later. Um, basically, what we're going to be making is linking books so that we can link back and forth to the end easy. Um, the other thing that we need is... What am I thinking? We need wood. As you can see, the wood up here is getting a little low, but we still have tons of wood upstairs. I usually like to take some cobble with me, but I think we'll be good. We do need to recharge our quantum armor, and then we can take our ender pearls. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a thing for next episode, because it is going to take quite some time. Um, and I'm hoping we can have Tasca come with us to go look for the end. We want to find the ender portal frame, and then I'm going to uh, see if I can get to the end. And uh, we'll see what we can do from there. The other thing that we want to do is we want to get Wither Skulls. And the reason for that is because I want to battle the Wither. Ah, Battling the Wither! So yeah, that's something that I would like to do, is battle the Wither. And if I just take one of these... Wrong thing. Anvil. My Soul Eater. And a Corrupted Ingot. Cost 26? Eh, screw that, it costs less to repair it with a sword. I'll, I technically have infinite levels, except for the fact that I'm going to show you guys something here. Something has gone wrong in our server. 
and we're trying to figure out what. So this system, which I've shown you guys before, if you listen carefully, you can hear chickens. But chickens aren't spawning. So what that tells me is that either there's something below this that the chickens have spawned into and there's a ton of chickens down there or this thing broke. So my plan is to actually dig down here off camera and see if I can find chickens because we definitely don't have any chickens and we're running low on levels. As you can see I think that's it. We are out of levels. Yeah, we're out of levels. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this off. And we're going to see if we can figure out what the heck is going on. Because, yeah, I can hear chickens, but I can't see chickens. So, we're going to have to see if maybe we've maxed out the spawns or something. There was a cave that they spawned into. Because remember, it's a seven block radius. It's all the way around. So, be, sorry, I think it's seven block diameter. Um, so the problem that you end up having is that in a seven block diameter, they're also going seven blocks down. Um, so that's something we have to look at to see if there's maybe a cave down that they're spawning into. I'm going to do that again off camera, and I will let you know what we find out so that you guys can know. Uh, the other thing I do recommend doing uh, is if you're setting one of these up, uh, make sure that you do dig down. Um, don't do what I did because you want to make sure that uh, there's going to be nothing below it. Because the bad part is, if you end up... I need one more. If you end up with something below it, like a cave, you're going to end up with what just happened to me, where you hit your max spawn rate eventually, because every once in a while they spawn down there. And then you're going to have to try to figure out where that cave is. So if you do it beforehand, you won't have an issue. Whereas, if you wait till, like I did, you're going to end up with the issue of having to try to find them. So that's what these weapons, sorry, um, items are going to be for us to see if we can figure out where they're coming, where the chickens have gone to. And uh, other than that, I think this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. I know it's a little short tonight, but, you know, you guys usually get longer episodes than normal. So one short episode I don't think is going to hurt anything. If you have any complaints or anything, please feel free to let me know, though. And have a good evening!